Hi everyone, I hope you've had a good week. Um, we're now uh, at the end of week three and of course that means week four starts next week. So uh, Andrew here and I are back again uh, to sort of give you a rundown on what's happening and what has happened. And uh, today we are seated in one of the labs that you'll be visiting as part of your soil physics uh, lab. Uh, where you'll be measuring water retention and uh, just behind us are a series of pressure plates which you'll get to become more familiar with uh, during the semester. But Andrew, how's your week been? It's been going pretty well. I've been, been busy with a few things but started off really well with a, a fun field trip uh, to Fox Farm and uh, everybody did, did great there and I had a, uh, a good time. Um, and I've also had the privilege of meeting you in my first lecture in soil physics uh, this week. So how about yourself Louise? Yeah it's been pretty busy. I was really pleased with how the field trip went well so thanks to everyone for getting there on time and just working so well in your teams. Um, really looking forward to seeing um, your data that comes out of your subsequent labs uh, as a result of analysing those soil samples. So um, Andrew, what's happening next week? Next week, uh, well, on Friday the quiz will have opened, so you have that activity to be ongoing with. Um, and in terms of classes, the, both the soil physics lectures and the soil physics practicals will have started up um, on the, your relevant prac and the lecture days. So. Uh, maybe you could tell us a little bit more about those stories. Yes, so Andrew, as you know, we can't have everyone doing the same soil physics lab uh, at the same time. There's just not enough equipment to go around. So what we've got you doing is uh, uh, th three soil physics labs over the coming weeks, a different one each week, and we're going to rotate you between those different practicals. Now the timetable um, that shows you which lab your group is doing is, has been uploaded onto LMS uh, under the section that describes the actual labs. So take a look at that. I'll also um, put it up on the front board as you enter the lab classes, but you really need to know what you're doing beforehand so that you can read up on the lab manual before you arrive. Um, but we've also got some other resources for you to help you prepare for your labs, haven't we Andrew? We have, we've had a lot of fun making videos for you on each lab. So the three labs are to do with soil particle size distribution, aggregate stability and water retention. We've just actually finished making the water retention <laughs> video right now uh, with the gear behind us. So they will be on the relevant pages on LMS and they're worth checking out before you do each lab. They're about five minutes long. So yeah, the videos will just highlight some of the key aspects of the, um, each of the labs that are difficult to describe in the text. Um, and they'll also point out some safety issues that you need to be aware of as well. Just then keep in mind, they're not a substitute for the lab manual. You'll still need to look at your lab manual before you come in. The videos are really just to complement things and to give you uh, a few pictorials. Absolutely. So I think that's the wrap up for this week, Andrew. Um, I think I'll just give people a final reminder that the quiz opens today, the first quiz, uh, and that it will close next Friday. Again, for more details about what will be in the quiz, uh, see the LMS site. Have a good weekend, um, Andrew. I'm, I shall, and you too. Yeah. Terrific. We'll see you all next week. See you all next week. Bye.